I'm going to show you how to uh, take a few different techniques to get an image onto a piece of this thin tissue paper. Um, it's like a thin wrapping paper. You got some in the materials that I gave you in different colors, but the white works best for this because you can then add alcohol markers and other things on top to add color to your piece and then um, if you put the Mod Podge on both sides, it will make it transparent. So I've created a few images uh, with magazine uh, to create some uh, unusual combinations of different pictures so that I can create something unique, right? So I have this guy's body here playing the guitar and then I put an owl's head on it to make it unusual. You don't necessarily have to do things that are uh, unusual collages, but I sometimes think that it's a fun way to just come up with some ideas that you know don't exist because you're creating them. You're putting all that material together and creating something completely new. So uh, what I'm doing with the... Um, paper is I'm using a colored pencil. I'm using black because I just feel that that's easier to then go in with any color and it's not going to interfere or compete and I don't have to think too much about trying to work with colors uh, that will contrast my line. In this case my line is just going to be neutral and then whenever I'm adding the colors to it it will um, stand out. Now you can see with the Jaguar, I cut around the outside shape because it was on a dark background and that would make it difficult for me be, to be able to see the outer contour of the um, animal. So I just decided to um, go ahead and cut around it. And I'm just gonna extend his tail here so it's a little bit more dynamic. And I'm gonna trace this outside shape. I'll not labor with all the um, dots right now. I can add those in later. Uh, but you can see that the paper is really thin and it enables you to come in and get those main details. So this is especially good if you uh, have an image that you want to use and you're not feeling really confident about your ability to draw it. You could do it that way. Or you could take um, a bunch of sketches from your sketchbook and then you could rework them into a new composite image where you're pulling those pieces together and creating a new collage. So you're sort of repurposing them to create a new image. Um, and that is a good example of um, revision um, when you go and you uh, re- um, interpret and work with in a different way something that you started with earlier on in the year. So I'm going to come in here and just get these details and I'm just trying to get most of the information and because the paper is really thin uh, you can see I can see most of the details uh, coming through and that's the really good thing about this um, paper is that it is really easy to see through. You do have to be careful. You don't want to use something too sharp because then you might rip the paper uh, and then that could create an issue. Now once you have your drawing down you're going to have lots of different options that you can um, do to work into your drawing. Now you could use alcohol markers um, and add your color that way. Uh, you could use um, uh, the oil pastels that you got in the kit and you can add color that way. Uh, that's going to be a more opaque color. So once you put that on there, uh, you're not going to be able to see so clearly through to the background if you're layering this onto something else. But it is nice in contrast with the transparency of an alcohol marker. You can even use um, watercolor on here um, as well. So I'm just going to come in there and get some of those details and make sure that I got most of what it is that I'm looking at. Um, and I have, I can lift up and I can just see by taking a little peek 
that I did get um, most all of the information. Uh, and you want to do that before you remove your paper because once you remove your paper, uh, it's going to be a little bit harder to line it back up. I'm going to just come in here and I realize I forgot the edge of those hands. Okay. So now that is one way that you can get your image on there. You could also do something like frottage where you find an image that you like and maybe I want to just put a little leaf up in the back there. I can turn my pencil on the side and just simply go over that object. So this would work with a feather or anything that's kind of flat that has a very distinct outside shape. And you can see that um, it's picking up most of those details of the leaf. And then that's going to make it uh, easier when I go to work into it with color or value or whatever it is that I want to add to it. So now you can see, once I lift away here, that I have uh, quite a few different images in my collage. Um, I could continue to add more. And again, this could just be uh, a drawing that you're working on in your sketchbook that you want to uh, rework. So um, go, the first thing is just to get that information on the page. You could also um, print things out from a printer um, and work with it that way or trace things out of your sketchbook to add to it. So I'm going to stop with this right here and then what I'm going to do is then prepare uh, another video where I'm just going to show you uh, different techniques that you can use to then work into this um, collage. And do keep in mind that you do, if you look at this face here, uh, if you put Mod Podge on both sides of it, it becomes absolutely um, uh, more transparent and you could layer that with a, another collage underneath if you wanted to add um, another image or you wanted to add something like a more complex background you could collage that right on top and you can see that that background will come through and it would even be a little bit more um, and saturated and intense um, when you use the Mod Podge because it's going to make this paper transparent and these uh, details will come through a lot more. So um, that's just an idea for trying to get some images to the page. I'm going to work into this a little bit um, with some other designs and then I'll show you how you can work color into it. Uh, you can add color to your piece using uh, alcohol markers if you have them, uh, the oil pastels I gave you if you have them, uh, and uh, watercolors or colored pencils. So I'm just going to work into this um, and then um, you'll see how each of them look. And then when I coat it with the Mod Podge, you'll see how it becomes transparent. So I finished putting... I finished putting all the materials, uh, the different media, onto my collage on that thin paper. And you can see that you can see the image coming through both sides. So I used a combination. You can see uh, the opacity of the oil pastel, uh, colored pencils. I used some watercolor. Um, and I outlined a lot of my lines uh, with both colored pencil and then I came in with some alcohol markers. Uh, and you can see that the alcohol markers have a nice transparent color. So the way I'm going to heighten the transparency of my image here is I'm going to take a layer of Mod Podge and I'm going to paint it on the back. Um, I put a plastic bag underneath here so if I go off the edge that um, it will be all right, it won't get everywhere. But you just wanna do this kind of carefully, uh, just lay a layer of Mod Podge on the back. And this will not affect um, whether or not your piece looks matte or shiny um, because you're only putting it on the back side. Now, if you do want your image to be uh, more transparent, you can put the Mod Podge on the front and the back uh, and it will become uh, even more transparent. So you can see that uh, it's starting to make the color look a little bit more saturated, um, but I'm gonna just continue to do that on the back side. 
And the, the interesting thing is you could ponder uh, the possibility of how could you make a artwork that does read from both sides, like what would that look like to you? Now, once you do have your image, um, you could also decide to then take it into the computer and work into it digitally as well uh, and overlay it and put um, uh, something behind it that way. You can see that the paper is so thin that the um, Mod Podge goes through a little bit on the pore. So you just have to be very gentle. You don't want to wrinkle your drawing. Um, you just want to sort of give it a nice coating and it's going to do two things. It's going to make the color more transparent, but it's also going to make this a little bit, have a little bit more structural integrity because it is such a thin paper. Giving it this layer of Mod Podge is going to uh, toughen it up a little bit so that you'll be able to move it around and do more with it uh, without it being so fragile. So I'm going to just let that dry and then I will show you what it looks like when it's done. Um, so that is it. And again, I'm using the, um, the shiny Mod Podge, uh, the gloss that I gave you, and that will heighten the uh, transparency of it. If you use a matte medium or clear glue, uh, it's going to be a little bit more um, cloudy. Um, so I um, am going to just leave this on the plastic. Again, you want something like plastic underneath it because you don't want it to stick. Um, so I have my plastic bag here. You could use saran wrap um, uh, or a folder, uh, one of those little folder sleeves. But you want to make sure there's something underneath it because it does get a little bit tacky and you don't want to ruin your drawing by getting it to stick to sticking onto a piece of paper or some other surface. So I'm just going to let that dry.